We are having the GG meetup this weekend, and that's uh, and that's why Orlando. we're doing an offline podcast yeah. today because this this is uh we thought we weren't gonna do it, but it's so early. We're like, let's warm up our voices <laughs> <laughs> before we start recording yeah. videos. We were gonna declare temporary insanity and take the week off from the podcast because we're back making videos again, and that has sapped uh 20 additional hours from our week yeah it feels good to be back doing those it does it does it's it's interesting because because you know the 14 isn't moving numbers the way oh, it yeah. used to no, yeah that's a, there's a whole there's all the algorithm work that yeah. used to happen with yeah. the it's not really even like a, a you know if you want to hear the background of that you can always check the weekly patreon post because there's usually a little bit of youtube analytics a little bit of uh boardroom meeting action happening in there we have a youtube rep we talk to sometimes i include some interesting tidbits that they were talking about behind the scenes in those posts yeah. but yeah there's a lot of people in our community that are on break from final fantasy 14 not only playing the game but like participating in the discourse or even watching videos well before we go to let me let me tee it up so are we gonna are we gonna have an analytics conversation we can want to have it all right want, let's yeah. analyze you want to analyze the state of final fantasy 14 youtube sure cool uh, streaming still great. Oh yeah, people love hanging. Final out. Fantasy fourteen inclined individuals uh, still apparently love to watch streams. Um, but we've had a couple naysayers come by and be like, "Oh man, your views have really fallen off." They're comparing it to like the biggest streams we've ever had, which yeah, was events. like the end of Shadowbringers and the end of Endwalker. Right. Um, if you ever end up streaming the Final Fantasy fourteen MSQ. Those are going to be your biggest streams. Yeah. Like whatever success you find from quite small to middle of the road to the biggest streamers in all of Final Fantasy 14, those are going to be the big ones. And you should never expect your numbers to stay around that. It's like it's, walking into, you know, Starbucks in July and dissing on pumpkin spice. Like, ah, oh, no one's ordering pumpkin spice, really falling off. Everybody hates that oh, pumpkin spice. Oh, yeah, actually, spice, that's, right? a, that's a perfect analogy. <laughs> there's Sorry. a time of year. There's a it's event sort of thing. Yeah, that yeah. Goes on. It, it, it's matching people's narrative, and there's a lot of narrative yeah. injection happening yes. in every So, So for community. us, I mean, we did Blizzard content for over a decade. You know, we did StarCraft starting in 2010. We moved to Heroes of the Storm. While we were also doing Heroes of the Storm, I was off on my Hearthstone bullshit at the same time. Yeah. I was doing two weekly blizzard things and eventually the infants got into the mix i was doing three weekly blizzard things i was doing world of warcraft every week hearthstone every week and here's the storm every week and if anyone wants to know why i was never the highest you could be in here's the storm that's why or why i was never the highest you could be in hearthstone that's why or why uh, i stopped hardcore raiding wrath of the lich king that's why i was just doing too many things and uh trying trying not to get mad at the games but i still got mad at the games <laughs> <laughs> Let me so in. there's all that so that yeah so we're looking at our, our so we're back doing videos and the numbers are not great yeah um so and so we've been we've been analyzing that you know you don't just you don't just sit on your laurels um because that's how a, a channel dies uh you know you got to analyze these things and make adjustments and uh yeah so i've, I've been and, and i've talked a little bit about it on twitter and some fo a lot of like I, I got a lot of replies from folks and a lot of folks were like really on the money. They're they're thinking about a lot of the same things that I'm thinking about in terms of why a video views might be lower than what we had before. And I'm even talking like non gangbuster videos like we were kind of hitting a, a certain amount. And we're just not hitting that anymore, even on like. Not the bigger videos. Oh, is this a new tweet you put out recently? No, no. It's something okay. I put out okay. like a week ago. Okay. Uh, but I figured it's good to bring it up because I'm assuming a lot of people are having the same thoughts. Um, so the things I think are like valid to look at are just kind of reception to Dawn Trail as a whole. We're, we're having a good time, but there is discourse going on about Dawn Trail. It has run afoul of, of naysayers on the internet. Sure. So then whether you agree with it or not, that does affect public perception, general vibes in the room. And I've heard anecdotally from a lot of people who are like, I really like it, but I'm tired of people talking about it. So even though I like it, I like where your heads are at on it. I just don't feel like watching anyone discussing it. right. And now. I don't want to positively comment, causing someone to argue with me and cause this whole. So, yeah, th there's yeah even... that's how I am about Star Wars. Yeah, I enjoy all of it. I have Star Wars I like and I have Star Wars I like more than other star wars i don't really hate any of it except rise of skywalker <laughs> uh but i don't want to talk about it every once in a while i get a message from someone's like Garrett, you really seem like you're into star wars why don't you do star wars content 
And I just go, because the fandom is evil. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to interact with them. I like my private Star Wars fandom. Um, and so it's all those things that I think. The one thing that I heard back when I was kind of talking about it publicly on Twitter about like analyzing this and being like, hmm, why aren't the numbers there? The, the thread I saw from a few folks, and, and this is it wasn't that, that many. I think I got like three or four replies that were like this. But, it, you know, it was a trend, which was, well, you haven't done videos in a while. And that is probably somewhat true. Um, but we have analytics that they ran. YouTube has, has shown us that, like, it was suggested to roughly the same amount of people. And so these videos are, according to what YouTube is showing us, being suggested to people. And they're just not watching them. Our first video back, actually, the click through was significantly better than usual. And when you, when you, like, everything you upload to YouTube is unique. Like, it, it, a live stream is not treated the same as a video until it's a VOD. Then it, then it goes into the video algorithm. But it knows what a live stream is versus what's a video. Because when we uploaded our first video, it compares it to your last 10 uploads. And even though we hadn't done a video in over a month, it, it grabbed the last video and the previous eight. To compare it all to and so i kind of lost my train of thought here because i'm a little sleepy it's, but. A, <laughs> it's algorithms are intense they are multifaceted businesses and with the uh community pause that a lot of people are taking with the game while still enjoying the streams the hangouts uh participating in things like i think it's a really it's still such a cool platform to be a part of in terms of participation when it comes to live streams and feeling involved and people dressing up and running around pretending to be cowboys yeah like it's a good time but yeah the videos are an interesting thing and this most recent and it, one and what oh i remember what i was building okay. up to was that i i, I actually don't think it has very much it, it is probably a factor that we haven't done a video in a while i don't think it's that big of a factor because i went and scooped every other final fantasy 14 channel i can think of and they're all down a lot <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> a lot like across the board. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So that that was the that was the other thing. I was like, okay, well, who's been who's regularly uploading? And I went and I'm not gonna drop them right now because I don't. I'm still deciding if I want to talk about how I analyze other channels. <laughs> they didn't ask for it. No, so. you, you invaded their house. And yeah, you exactly. Saw their numbers exactly. Down. Exactly. But um, yeah, I looked at I looked at some regulars and I'm like, oh. Everyone is down close to like 50% for yeah. the most part. Like Final Fantasy 14 videos are doing about half as good as they used to, um, which is, you know, it, a little scary, but it's also a puzzle to solve. Like I, this is no different than I think, you know, you have a uh, YouTube about anything and someone says, Hey, what cameras are you using? They're like, Oh, thank goodness you asked. Cause I've had to immerse myself in this particular technology in order to do the videos. It's just another aspect of this thing. You have to become really nerdy about so it's exciting to talk about publicly because it is kind of secretive. There's not as much like secret sauce as there once was. Like uh, I feel like YouTube five years ago had a lot more like, dude, I know the hack. Like, you, you, do you know the hack? I know the hack. I know how to properly tag. And there was all this like, hush, hush. My videos are going to do better than yours kind of business yeah, sadly, going on. Yeah, sadly, it doesn't work anymore. Actually, all signs seem to point that tags being borderline useless these days. <laughs> yeah, tags, timestamps can be bad for you. Like, there's all kinds of crazy. Yeah, we should probably not do them. <laughs> yeah, because it decreases view time, right? Every test jump. I've seen uh, shows that uh, tags hurt your view time, which hurts your channel. I know. It's an honorable thing to do, though, right? Yeah. Like, I do like it. Or not it. tags, timestamps. Yeah, the timestamps, which allow someone to be like, oh, cool, I watched all their streams, I know their thoughts, but let me see their predictions and jump straight to that. Then the algorithm goes, ooh, man, they only liked five minutes of your, you know, 10 minute video. Let me go ahead and like hide this video a little bit. Yeah, it's watch, a wild watch thing. Yeah, watch time is, is very important. And I think that our first video back, which was an MSQ video, I think that was part of it because um, the click through was actually among the best of our 10 video snapshot. Uh, but the watch time was just bodied. It was yeah. just in the ground grave. And uh, uh, that's that discourse around Dawn Trail that I was alluding to. I think a lot of people were clicking on it to comment and not watching the video at all. It's very powerful to get comments on a video because you basically kind of create this forum topic. And you're like, hey, YouTube commenters, let's all talk about this. But in the case of Dawn Trail, people maybe don't want to watch the video. 
but they still want to comment and that hurts your watch time it's a fascinating wild thing we're also learning a little bit about like people's consumption habits as we're now modern like our recent barbaricia video had lower watch time and from comments something you saw was oh i got to the part where you talked about the side quests i didn't do those yet or i haven't done extreme i don't want spoilers on the mechanics so well, that, that's the 14 fan base as a whole there's a everyone is somewhat spoiler averse and it is some of the most excruciatingly specific spoiler versions you will ever run afoul of in any community that i've ever seen but there was a little bit of you know like guns blazing we could do back in heaven's ward because if we talked about a side quest there you know people are like uh eh, probably won't make it back to that i'll keep watching <laughs> yeah yeah whereas you know a year ago side quest someone goes oh I'm, maybe i was gonna do that you know it's not the it's not farming ish guard currencies yeah that video that video is still i mean it's only four days old but it seems like youtube's already given up on recommending it to people because the video the views on that one have just died yeah um, that's, that's that video is going nowhere um so that, that one's interesting i'm looking at that one as like that's a fraction of a fraction of a fraction that's like Maybe there's just not enough people looking at 14 right now that there's kind of general. I don't think there's enough general interest in 14 at the moment. I think I think the diehards are probably more diehard than they've ever been because uh, their comments are still popping off. Yeah, and the games are good. Like in terms of like the late game, everything we hear about the rating, the farm scenes and everything. People are having a good time in there. Who yeah. Kept playing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's interesting. I'm curious to see how that'll go because it, it seems like it's probably not worth doing coverage of older content right now is my my current thought that makes sense probably a bad idea for a video yeah maybe maybe during the hype leading up to something yeah uh, there's all sorts of thoughts in there yeah videos are their own thing uh, i love i love that we can be slightly topical on streams but also have these event you know like eureka nights and get a good turnout i'm very proud of that yeah that's what it's like the stream it just doesn't seem to matter um yeah i don't know it's interesting. I mean, there's still other factors, like like getting every just because you have the same like a consistent view across streams, it doesn't mean it's going to be the same level of like monetary return. But like it, I don't know. It's weird. I I feel very fortunate in that way. I feel like we've we've built a hell of a base for streams. Yeah, and how cool to be getting to see everybody running around inside Guild Wars when we play that. Yeah, I I keep hoping like i keep thinking like is there a is there a halloween game we could do that's mmo light like something that that many people can participate in where there's not a meta like i don't like, think so because i know someone out there is like you should play dead by daylight and i'm like that is not something you wander into no i think i i, I also i kind of hate asymmetrical multiplayer games 